Good morning, Cybertron. It's a podcast intended for adults and is not suitable for those under the age of 18. Viewer discretion is a Hi, it's James Roberts here from IDW, and you're listening to Good Morning Cybertron because you've got too much time on your hands. Five, four, three, two, one. Good morning, Cybertron! Welcome to this week's episode of Good Morning Cybertron. I am your host, Scott. Mm, say it out loud. Scream the name. Mm, I'm just humping the air, but I'm thinking of you. I'm thinking of you <laughs> and other people I'm thinking about right now, all the way from the on fire British Columbia. Currently, just hey. an ember, a cinder, a. a a, a burnt match of land on the globe. It's 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 Thomas. Hello. Aww, I'm sorry everything's burning around you. It's not too bad right now where I am, but down in the interior, it's pretty <laughs> apparently pretty severe. Uh, I, Xavier, has the fires gotten to you today? I mean, the the ones I started. Yeah. They don't. Uh, they they know better than to try to burn me. Ah, ha, ha, ha. the flames of hell cannot touch me, for I am evil incarnate. I'm drunk. <laughs> 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 fuck you, Susan. Well, I don't even know who the fuck Susan is. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, we are Good Morning Cybertron. We this is a Transformers podcast, but just fucking barely, just fucking barely. Get on over. Like our Facebook page. Uh, check out the Twitter. There's a ton of stuff. There's a ton of stuff over there. And here's the thing. On the Facebook page, you're going to see a lot of shared content between the two. We get it. But some of the stuff that's on Twitter, you're not going to see on Facebook. Some of the stuff mm -hmm. that's on Facebook, you're not going to see on Twitter. Have you ever wanted to see RC use Grimlock's gun to murder Wheelie? That was up there today. I was up late last night thinking that very thought, and I was like, if I don't sketch this out right now, mm -hmm. I'm not going to be able to sleep. Oh my God, look at that. Saved so much time. Saved so much time. I, I'm not going to lie. I troll the fucking internet just looking for weird Transformers content, and then I post it, and everybody on Facebook is pretty fine with me posting stuff. Everybody on Twitter goes, why didn't you credit that person? Because fuck them. They know how to write their name. I'm not a goddamn detective. Wait a minute. No. What happened to Mort's detective agency? It really went downhill. <laughs> oh no. Oh no. What the fuck is this? Okay, I'm going to have to listen to this letter. Uh, th is this Chris Chan? Do you guys know of, who Chris Chan is? Oh, YouTube? I know who that is. I do. Yeah. Oh my God. It says Hasbro better watch out. They're in, tr or they're in big trouble. What the fuck is this? Hold on here. I'm going to listen to this. Hold on. Is this, is this what you would call breaking news? This might be breaking Western news. Western Chandler signed you. You're... Hello, oh, people I can hear of Hasbro I know. I... in Rhode Island. This is Christine Weston Chandler signed you. Your goddess blue heart in Rutgersville, Virginia. Now, listen here and listen good. Okay. I've told y'all, I've kept it going time and time again, but y'all keep putting it on, putting it on. But my little point, Generation 5 is cancelled. G4, Friendship is Magic, needs its five more seasons. It needs to go on to season 14. Now, this is the last straw. Because for the good and safety of this timeline, you need to get that shit pulled off of shelves and Amazon stores or wherever else 
all the dang far away and cancel the freaking G5 series. Make sure it never gets published anywhere and never, ever talk about it again and make the official cancellation notice public. Tell everybody, I am telling you this truth, warning you, if you continue on and you do not listen to me, Hasbro, and do not resume G5, I mean, you do, you do not resume G4, you have to cancel G5. If you don't cancel G5, you're going to put this entire timeline in chaos. So I'm giving you this warning and tell you the truth and straight up. Cancel Generation 5 now, Hasbro. Now. And that's how you get a job at IDW. Wow. And I think I pissed my pants. Yeah, yeah. Also, I, I keep being told that this person has autism. That's That's... That's something else. <laughs> most of most of our uh, most of our cast here is autistic, so mm. yeah. I I yeah. consider myself very artistic. I, I made a painting. Uh, it's a right. lovely painting, and yeah, my my second wife said, "I think you're someplace on the artistic spectrum." <laughs> I I feel the same way sometimes because I look at the word artistic and I'm like, "What if I spell that with a four instead mm -hmm. of an A? Would I be considered an artist?" Leet speak. Mm -hmm. Oh my God! Ooh. This, this, our own special brand of retardation is brought to you by. Say it with me, everybody. SirToys.com. FBI.gov. Damn it, <laughs> man! You were close. <laughs> I mean, you're probably not wrong. <laughs> you're probably not wrong at all. Sir Toys. It's all my off. Shesta has the most massive amount of awesome stuff. They have. The Mini Force Dynomex sec set of six. This, this kind of grabbed my attention. So here is the Dino Force set of six. We have uh, black or purple, pink or light green, dark green or black, yellow or orange, orange mm -hmm. or red, but I know that's blue. Being colorblind is yep. fun. <laughs> and artistic. And autistic. Artistic. Uh, mm. And then you've got this. Yeah, here they are. You got a little Stegosaurus, a uh, Pterodactyl, a uh, T Rex, a Brachiosaur. Over here is a pink Triceratops, and my favorite dinosaur, the shark. I like how the head. <laughs> yes. I like how the head plating around the Triceratops is transparent, like a like a windshield on a on a motorcycle. <laughs> Nothing says protection like fragile, transparent plastic. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> But I mean, the Sharkosaurus. Where the <laughs> fuck else are you gonna find land sharks? Nowhere. Actually. Exactly. Um, I have I have searched all of time, all mm -hmm. of space. I've asked Matt Smith, David Tennant, uh, Eccleston when he when he stops being an asshole for all of five minutes. Here's the thing: what you need to do, you need to plunk down your eighty three ninety nine, get your mini force Dynomex set of six, plunk down another four dollars, and get Monkey King eggs pig. That's a yeah, lot. I was look That's a lot of work. <laughs> you had me. Yeah. You had me at King Egg's pig. Not even monkey. Not even monkey. There it is. <laughs> and transformed <laughs> into a torso. Oh. oh no! This is all that was left of the block dahlia. Oh no! Take it away. Yeah. Make it he look. He <laughs> looks like a. He looks like a pig, but he acts like a turtle. Take it away, my <laughs> ass! This is going to be the cover of the podcast. <laughs> would you, would you, slaughter the chicken and call a priest if it laid an egg that looked like this with arms sticking out of the side and a yellow scarf like it was Fred from Scooby Doo? I mean, if I came along with this, I'm assuming that they're going to find the legs and the head later, and that the murder <laughs> weapon was that little rake thing that he has. <laughs> yeah, I actually know what that is. It's the, this is really goofy. Like, I, I guess it's supposed to be a rake, but that's totally not a rake. That is for applying mud to a dry to drywall when you renovate a house. Jesus Christ! Shut up, nerd. That's what that's for. So this guy, he shows up and he does your drywall for you. That's well, what this guy does. You know, maybe Monkey King Eggs Pig is not what you want. Maybe you want Monkey King Eggs Monkey. <laughs> what? Whoa. <laughs> Two we're, monkeys? I think Hold we're, on. I think we're in the good timeline. Fuck Chris Chan. Uh, <laughs> and, oh, and Trailbreaker was there? And, and Susan and Billy... I was going to be on my local romper room whenever I was a kid, 
but uh, Miss Elizabeth or whatever the fuck her name was killed herself, and I didn't get to go on. <laughs> My wife just looked at me. I was always bitter. I was always very bitter. I think that's why I'm so anti-suicide nowadays. Like, just because I mean, yeah. he was depressed, I it ruined my chance to be on TV whenever I was seven. Also, anti-romper room. That bitch ruined my chance to be on TV because of her depression. Right? I sat there. I sat there every fucking morning going like, I, she would hold up the magic mirror and go, I see Billy and Susie and Steven and George. Never once said Douglas or Scott. Wow. Yeah. You think with all the names that were allowed to be said on 80s television that were white, yeah. those would have been two of them. Yeah, you would think so. You'd never hear like a Shaniqua or anything. That's like exactly that. the name I was going to say. How, Scott, are we the same? I, I think we are. I think we are, what? dude. Damn. Now, look, I know you want Monkey King Eggs, Monkey Pig. <laughs> <laughs> My omelet will be the talk of the town. Do us a favor. <laughs> Click the link in the show description. It's down there, baby. Or type this out. www.cirktoys.com slash question mark A equals 16. You get what you want. You don't pay a penny more. Paul gets what he mm. wants, a little bit of your business. We get a little something, something on the side. Can I show you something that's eventually going to well, make on, its Scott. way to Sir Toys? <laughs> Hold on, Scott. Before you do, I just noticed in the, you may also like, the very second image kind of looks like those latest things that are those combiners, those horrible $2 combiners that they're selling for $15 now. Uh, I think these are Ultraman doodles. They are. I can see that. <laughs> wow. Do they, do they combine when you smash them? Uh, I mean, eventually they would. <laughs> it's, I don't think they're designed to do that, but I bet with enough and force anything was is there. possible. Anything is a combiner with enough energy. Yeah. <laughs> Anything is a combiner if you're brave enough and lubed up enough. Yes, indeed. But may I present to you what may be some of the first images of oversized studio series Mixmaster. The legend continues. Ooh, and is he... Is he going to be as fiddly as the original? Well, there looks to be, like, we're just getting these images right now. Uh, they added, they went for movie accuracy and added the fucking tires up, up by see. the thing. Yeah, so yeah. Uh, there's a ton more tires, <clears throat> but that is completely mo movie accurate. Um, mm -hmm. There he Ooh. is next to the uh, oversized rampage. Oh, Okay. And there's the there's the actual picture of the movie truck right there. Yeah. So, so you can see I like wonder... one, two, three, four, five. Yeah, you got a ton of tires, and that's hmm. that's what this one's got. Wow. Very I wonder if it's very nice looking. I wonder if, speaking of accuracy, they'll add like a little trough, like one of those troughs for the cement to slide down out the back. Don't know. Don't know. These are our first images of oversized studio series Devastator. A lot of people were worried this wasn't going to get completed. And I mean... Uh, a lot of people were... <sighs> I mean... COVID. The, the arms. Know. No, I mean, this is... I mean, a lot of people are worried about the arms. Look at them. They're, they're half a truck. Yeah. Yeah. They are. Just as God intended. <laughs> are, which, which oversized um, Devastator is this? Which one? This is the Studio Series Devastator. Right, but the, the weren't there. There was more than one oversized uh, knockoff one. Uh, no, is... no, no. This is this, this is the one. There was another knockoff, but it was one to one. The, right, it wasn't oversized. This is the oversized one. The one where Rampage was just fucking massive, and each one has had like extra little bits. Rampage mm -hmm. had more of a tail going on. Uh, the scrap, devil savior yeah scrap metal had uh the, the hooks he had the hooks the uh devastator shot up to grab hold of the pyramid long haul had like some leg fillers uh who uh -huh. else high tower high tower had the wrecking balls <laughs> so yeah. yeah bide your time you're eventually gonna see this up on sir toys now by God Almighty, here's our first look at Voyager Tigatron. Tigatron? Yeah. Tigatron. Looking good, boy. Oh, 
and then here's the thing a lot of people were going like oh this is just going to be like an upsized version of of uh Cheetor. myself included no i mean this share some engineering but there's a lot of changes yeah. for example i just found this out the, their crotch is the <laughs> it's a little tiger head in the crotch and yeah. and and uh <laughs> and fucking Cheetor has a little cheetah face on his crotch oh yeah how have we not noticed that right because i don't i don't spend my time looking at robot dick uh that is contrary my to wife what just we looked know at about me you. again <laughs> she gave, me the, gave me the stink eyes you ever get the stink eyes from a, from a woman from the bahamas it's not good Twice. <laughs> is this he's actually bigger than cheetah than she yeah yeah here let me zoom in here on those crotches uh the way god intended take <laughs> enhance there we go uh side by almost side comparison yeah. you're right they're differently molded yes they are there yeah. are tooths on cheetor's lower part and you can see that they are different from the tooths on tigatron's part yeah yeah this oh is... no i'm sorry the, the nose the nose is different the yeah. nose is different the nose is different the eyes are different i mean they're still hexagonal eyes but like you look at Tigatron here, he's got like eyeballs inside the hexagons. This is just regular eyes. You know, there's eyebrows going on here, nothing here. The nose is longer. Uh, the teeth are kind of the same. But yeah, they got different crotches and they've got animal crotches. Not, you know, not, like, not, not like an animal's crotch where their crotch is, but an animal's face where their crotch is. Is this like, is this like, Cybertronian maximal camouflage this is where it's just like my eyes are down here don't look at my gun up here this is a this is the best timeline <laughs> we're living in a glorious age uh you know what there's gonna be people that fucking complain uh and they're just gonna complain and complain and complain they don't like this they don't like that what the fuck else does hasbro need to do the fact that they had to have a meeting about all right what can we do to differentiate Tigatron from Cheetor? And someone had said, okay, when they come out, hear me out. What if they got face plates on them dicks? Mm -hmm. And someone said, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Tell me more. Can we, make, can we make the guy, the black guy who voiced Tigatron, have the longer nose compared to the guy who voiced the cheetah who was Canadian? Oh, I think we can do this. I think we, I can, think do we can do this. I think we can do this and get away with it because it's like <laughs> mine's bigger, literally. Yeah, it's a voice yeah. I mean, it's, yeah, seriously. the The thing that <laughs> the thing that amazes me is a lot of people are bitching, and I understand why. You don't you don't really mess with people's pocketbooks. A lot of people are complaining that like deluxes are going up in price, twenty two dollars, right? Ugh. I know it does suck, but I can understand. I can also understand why. Uh, like they were actually talking to. I listened to a thing on NPR. The price of vintage comic books is going up. Mm. Like it's to get like old comic books is going up. Everything's price is going up. And as much as I hate it, don't get me wrong, I do dislike it. But I mean. Here we can do twenty-two bucks for this Optimus Primal, which is a very nice Optimus Primal. I know we're talking about Tigatron, but or I can pay a hundred and thirty dollars for for a fucking third-party Optimus Primal. Holy fuck, Scott! What? The entire Animal Kingdom is replicated on their crotch plates. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh, hold on, wait, 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 wait. I I just saw something. Hold on here. Shit. That's that weird rat thing from the Ice Age movies. <laughs> yes. <laughs> yes it is. Also a monkey. Yeah. Yeah. There's a monkey in there. What's going on Some here? Kind of What's going bird on? badge is a bird beak. Okay, I do see a beak. What's going on here, rat trap? Nothing. Uh, Teeth. Oh no! I can see in like a nose, kind of. Yeah, yeah. I can yeah. kind of see that. 
they got headmasters on their crotch masters. What? Whenever somebody said, hey, you want a little head, Hasbro went, don't worry, we got you covered. So, like, this is a weird aspect of maximal culture. Is this their family crest? I Check think it their is. underwear? I think it is. God oh, damn, shit. this looks good. Look at that next, yeah. to, next to the MP. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Those circular gears in the, uh, like, the shoulder pylons, that's the only detail I miss because I distinctly remember those. And it's more because of, like, 90s animation. They were all chrome and shiny, and they... Mm-hmm. They just stood out a little better in the show, and I always remember that as a good detail. Yeah, he got I missed the that gun. on Voyager Theater, huh? He got the yeah. gun. He do got gut gun. He got gut gun. Yeah, he feels pretty complete. Uh, I wonder where his tail goes. <laughs> Damn that! And ass. Anywhere at once. Up his yeah. ass. Tom, um, but this. it literally goes up yeah. his ass. I'm I'm in love with this. Yeah. This is this is so worth thirty bucks. Yeah. A blue man Kuma. You I, did a I was, good job with this. I I was fully I was fully prepared to write that figure off as just being exactly the same, just another version of the Cheetor figure, but I it was, doesn't uh, look so was I. So was I. Yeah. And I'm so happy to be fucking wrong. Yeah. Me too. That looks like it's gonna be at least the same size I, as Dinobot. Yeah, man. I mean, compared to if if you wanted a Tigertron, are you really gonna bitch about it being the same as Cheetor? You would have to pay outrageous sums for the masterpiece if you really wanted a a good Tigertron. Moot, now look here. They care to save the kitties. Save the kitties. I do like a that pussy. Mm-hmm. Oh my oh, god. Oh, oh, Scott. Yeah. You think Sir Toys will do an Ollicopter version? Oh, if they don't, I will. Wow, that's, that's, <laughs> that's interesting. Oh, no, that place. doesn't look right. Khajiit had a prickly <laughs> farm surprise for you. <laughs> oh, no. Too. Oh, no. I, I don't like how the gut gun now makes it look like he's got a wrinkly scrotum. <laughs> I, <laughs> oh, no. I can tell this dude. In the picture, holding it, holding the toy. Look at look at how cringy curled his hand is. I don't want He's to like, touch <laughs> it. This is strange because I smuggled I would... this out in my rectum, but I still don't mm-hmm. want to. Touch. I don't know who the fuck it was. I don't know who the fuck it was. There was some toy reviewer I watched, and I I normally don't leave comments, uh, especially whenever I feel negative about about somebody, right? Yeah, yeah. And I was. I remember I was subscribed to this dude. This was just a couple of just a couple of days ago. He, this guy is obviously getting stolen Chinese toys, right? Yeah. And here's the thing: Do you know how I feel about people reviewing Chinese toys that somebody snuck out of the factory in their rectum and they paid a hundred and twenty dollars for a thirty dollar toy? You know how I feel about that? Pretty darn good. <laughs> I don't give a shit. I yeah. really fucking don't. Whatever. But this guy puts up a video and he's like, well, I think I think Hasbro needs to stop, you know, telling people what's coming out because, you know, this and that. And he's got like all these all these stolen Chinese toys. I just went, wow. You know, I didn't I didn't comment. I just went I just went, wow, unsubscribed. <laughs> <laughs> it's like this guy was trying to rationalize buying stolen Chinese toys. And it was just like the the fucking list, like the the goddamn thumbs down on this thing. I'm going to see if this is still in my history. Uh, let's see here. Hold on. while you do that, Thomas. Yeah. Thomas. Yeah. I know you got a penis joke in you for this image. <laughs> I wasn't even paying attention to that at the. I was. I was just wondering. Scott, Scott was saying was was describing the way how this may have been smuggled, and I was thinking. So what you're telling me, is that that's not actually shading on the limbs. <laughs> that is not. <laughs> that is digestive juice staining. You know what? From this yeah. particular <laughs> angle, the the. The natural like striping on Tigatron's face looks like the Mike Tyson tattoo. 
kind of does. Yeah. yeah. I think he's taking it down. Have, have wow. you noticed this... how incredibly muscular the front limbs are on that cat? It's pretty muscular. It's almost human proportion. Does this count as an <laughs> upside down submarine? Kind of, yeah. <laughs> I love that meme. Sub God. <laughs> That's what I'm calling I... this. Subcock. Eat fresh. Like, I'm, I'm looking through my videos and, like, my history, and there is a video here that, like, I'm going to, and it's like, uh, we're sorry, it's no longer available. Oh. <laughs> yeah. Scott, can you please change the image? I'm tired of looking at this. <laughs> it's giving me horrible, horrible images. Let me see if I can find one that pleases you. Um, there you go. <laughs> Animal cocks. There we go. Yeah, Much better. Yeah. Without the gun. Without the gun. Uh, this no. is, they call Without it neutering the... and spaying your pet. <laughs> you know how you drill two holes in your tiger so they can't have children? Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I mean, that's, that's really the way it works. <laughs> <laughs> you just flip your animal over going, what, really? Jesus Christ. <laughs> You got my, I, my, I got a guy, Cecil, he fixed my refrigerator, my air conditioner, my transmission, and my cat. <laughs> oh, fuck me. This, this is, this is amazing. And you know what? Here's, here's, we're going to talk about two things that I'm not going to buy. Uh, Clunker, Bumblebee, and Barricade. And this is also from the Buzzworthy. It's a uh, high octane bumblebee and stinger, and I think there's one that has a there's a set that has dropkick in there. I have all these figures. Oh yeah! Wow, they really did call them clunker bumblebee. Yeah, clunker bumblebee. I've got all these figures. I've got these studio series figures. So this is nothing that I'm going to purchase. However, the people Aww. miss the people miss toys all the time. I'm so happy to see these out. Because now somebody that missed out on Dropkick, somebody who missed out on Stinger, who missed out on Barricade or some of these Bumblebees, they now have another chance to get these toys. Mm -hmm. And I think that's absolutely fantastic. These are just straight up re-releases of Studio Series 27 and 28? I think so. Where's, God, I wish Walter was here so he could tell us if there's like different paint apps or new accessories or something. I mean, I imagine there is, but... Is well, hold on here. Let's read the story. I mean, we're not dumb. Uh, yeah, re releases of I mean, <laughs> so yeah, it says uh, this pack consists of re releases of Studio Series 27, Studio Series 28, in the new Bum Buzzworthy Bumblebee packaging. Uh, okay, just I, I guess it really is just in the same thing, yeah. High Octane Bumblebee, Decepticon Stinger. And I know there was a dropkick one. I, oh, yeah, here's yeah, here's dropkick. Uh, Volkswagen Bumblebee and dropkick. Oh, yeah. Yeah, mm. yeah. Wow. I mean, hey, you know what? That's great. I, I always thought, I always thought, like, whenever, whenever I first started collecting again, uh, whenever I was collecting as an adult, uh, going into Family Dollar and being able to buy, like, uh, an Omnicon RC and you know all those all those little omnicons uh from the uh from the energon series and those getting, were cool yeah and getting brush guard yeah. from cybertron that was fantastic that really helped me build my collection mm. yeah so i like the omnicons yeah the omnicons were good the omnicons yeah. were good and, but, they had a a different feel to them they were kind of how do I, I don't know quite how to put it. They didn't feel like super modern figures. I mean, it was the first time that we got like an RC in a long yeah, time. Yeah, but the fact that they decided, hey, what what should we do for hands on this legend class fig? Uh, how about two little nubs that don't really do anything, but they're in the shape of a, a fully formed hand. So I don't know. Sounds make, like a woman to me. You can make the crossbow only shoot sideways. They were like, they, I just remember they were like, just thinking, okay, let's make a jet fire, but instead of him being huge, he's really small and has a giant fork for a weapon. Yeah. yeah. 
<laughs> How about I like Godzilla? How about we make it Godzilla? We call him Doomlock, and uh, well, let's do a Mazer tank too. What the fuck? As long as we're yeah, that was neat. Stuff. Yeah, yeah. I really, I, it was a, that was a cool line. It absolutely was, and that was the universe line. Yeah, that was the universe that you had like that weird little fucking like gray and red rhino motherfucker from Cybertron. That just oh, oh what's what's your alt mode? Uh, it's the rhino standing sideways. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's backstop. Like backstop transforms by basically the the rhino just kind of goes up. That's so, it. Hey, backstop looked like somebody fucking drew a face on the side of an actual rhino with a red <laughs> sharpie. That's... Yeah, yeah, kind of. Yeah, Abs- <laughs> not kind of, <laughs> completely. Like if Ace Ventura turned shattered glass and he's just like, I'm going to decorate the animals instead of saving them. I pretend. I like, I like that Insecticon that they came out with at the time. Or the green one. Yeah. Command Ravage was pretty neat. Mm -hmm. Yeah. All that stuff was good. And I mean, that was stuff you could go into Family Dollar long after it was out. You know, it was... It was, I think, at the time, Cybertron. Cybertron was the series. <laughs> Long afterwards, yeah. and you could go in and get that stuff. So the fact that they're doing this, yeah. Well, I applaud it. I absolutely yeah. applaud yes. it. I think it's, in a weird way, I think it is actually good, just because, like, there's so much stuff that we don't ever see repeats of. Right. And yeah, and it's like I wanted to see some of these things that were like high demand, like the, the target seekers, anywhere but eBay for ninety dollars. Yeah, and so we yeah. were like, "We'll we'll eventually get around to it, right? Like we'll make some more for you." And it took fucking a stroke of luck to even find them at my target to avoid the scalper prices. So seeing that they're like, "Well, we'll just repackage it, and it's in a two pack now." But if you miss the studio series for whatever reason, it's here. I think that actually is a good idea. I'm not going to knock them for doing this or trying to cash in on the image of Bumblebee, but it's, it's no more Bumblebee, please. He is, he is their dollar sign though. You know, I know it's kind of like, it's like Pikachu to Pokemon, right? Bumblebee to Transformers. You can't ever separate them, but the thing, Oh, go ahead. Sorry. I'm just saying, but the one thing is, it's like, if these are straight up the same thing, That kind of, like, eh, I just wanted to see something slightly different. New accessories, some new paint, you know? Yeah. Well, I remember one of my first Transformers that I got, whenever I started getting back into collecting, I went into an Ollie's, and I got that Skywarp that was made from Beast Machine's Jetstorm. Oh, yes. Oh. Mm -hmm. That was one of my – it wasn't the first – uh, my very first thing I bought whenever I got back into collecting, I was collecting Godzilla at the time. Still have some of my Godzilla collection. I, I sold a lot of it to take care of my mom whenever right. she had cancer. Uh, Scott, did you know you're not worthy of those toys and you should sell them to me yeah. because I am worthy? Yeah, okay. Uh, <laughs> oh, that. <laughs> but I did keep the prototypes. <clears throat> but I, it, it, was, it was a thing where like, I, I, bought, I saw like this knockoff Abominus. And I thought, oh, these will look really cool. These will look really cool next to my Godzilla stuff. I remember the Terracons. I was one of the Terracons as a kid. And I got this knockoff Abominus in the mail, and I was sitting there going like, I'm having ever so much fun. <laughs> <laughs> I, think, uh, I think I'll go see if there are any Transformers and all these. Oh, look, Skywarp. That uh, doesn't look like <laughs> Skywarp, but uh, he's black and purple, close enough. And now I'm sitting here going like, I need everything now. Yeah, I I think the one thing that really hooked me on the studio series when it became like very, very Bumblebee eccentric was the fact there was a studio series release that was so fucking out of place. It was during the Bumblebee movie line uh, run. And they said there's going to be a version of Bumblebee you can customize with stickers and add on accessories for the car mode. Charlie's Garage or something like that. Uh, I think that was like Studio Series 25 or yeah. 15, one of those weird ones. And it came with the Charlie figure. 
And it was like, here's something new you can do with it. You can customize the Bumblebee like Charlie was going to do. And I was like, that's really cool. Good on you. Never again have I seen that in these reruns of the studio series. And you think that'd be something they leap at because they keep doing these more battle-centric versions of the character. And they're not really giving a variety to show the different things. Like, it wouldn't make sense, but you could put, you know, Jeep Bumblebee in there. And that would be cool. You you know, do the new uh, Origins Bumblebee. It's just like, look, here it is as a, as a miniature-looking arc motherfucker. Could somebody get all those Rampage toys of Dwayne the Rock Johnson we didn't sell and get him a <laughs> scar and a hair so he looks like John Cena? <laughs> Back to <laughs> his Bumble Jeep. Yeah, Duke from from uh, GI Joe's yeah. in this. Whoa! Yeah. Now I'll tell you what. Uh, good news for all you people on the fucking spectrum. We got anime titties. Uh, hey. <laughs> we got our first images of Takara masterpiece MP55 Nightbird, and a lot of people were going like, "God damn, look at them thighs!" Like on 4chan, they were actually going, "Look, look at those thighs, man." Hold on, good Scott. God. Hold on. Yeah. There, there's something we have to investigate. If her name is Nightbird, we need to examine her crotch and see if there's pictures of birds. <laughs> okay. Okay, hold on here. There you go. Oh, you dirty bird. Mm, good God. Mm. <laughs> Free fall. Oh, I mean, she looks really poseable, which is nice. And she's got, I think, some of the weaponry from her Unite Warriors release as masterpiece accessories? I, I think so. I don't remember this surprised face being part of the cartoon. <laughs> no, or actually, actually, hold on. No, I think that actually did happen in the show right before she blew up and they caged her in that cryo tube. Really? I think that's the face they gave when she got knocked out or exploded. Was it exploded? But, they never, but, you, ne but you never seen her mouth. They did that weird Deadpool thing, I believe, where it's just like, trying to talk to the animation studio in Korea and they're like okay wide eyes and surprise and they're like oh surprise face that means a mouth too you know it's like animation errors that happen all the time where it's like Captain N had that one really <laughs> famous episode where they only animated the crocodile chasing the characters and only the crocodile there was no background god damn I miss Captain no, I N <laughs> I got I a powered that show. glove. Yeah, great. You ever use <laughs> I a got fucking, an NES. You ever fucking use a power glove? It's fucking hellish. It is. All I remember oh. is is Green Mega Man. I remember. <laughs> I remember fucking Bayou Billy. <laughs> Bayou Billy, by the way, still has the best goddamn theme song of ever of any NES game. I remember they, they inserted a police office there from, like, NES Raid or something like yeah. that, or NARC or something. Well, it was fucking Simon Belmont, wasn't it? Who was it was complete... one of the Belmonts. Yeah. yeah, he was a yeah. pompous doof who was yeah. like, I have a high voice and a uh, coiffed air. Look at me. And a huge tick butt chin. <laughs> yeah. And aviator yeah. goggles. Yeah. Aviator goggles. Because, you know, it's important to do a lot of flying in 15th century Transylvania. <laughs> A lot of blonde, a lot of blonde people in Transylvania, from what I hear. That's right. Mega Man was green. I remember that. Oh Jesus Christ! Yes. Hippo was a bad guy. Hold on here. We're gonna look this up. Captain N. N. Why did Mother Brain? Why did Mother Brain have a sub, uh, a lieutenant that was an eggplant? Where oh, did that come from? How about the fact that Mother Brain was racist? Uh, what the fuck you mean? The damn master got away. Yeah, get the fuck out of here with that. <laughs> yeah, she did sort of sound like that. Yeah. Yeah, she she absolutely sounded like that. Yes. Well, what, what the heck is? Yeah, uh, let's see. I think that's Zel Zoraldo or something. That's Simon. That's that's yes. Uh, that's standard standard Woo! fucking clothing. For Transylvania, aviator goggles like, and that yeah. fur-lined jacket. He, he, you know oh what that looks? He's so tan. It looks like an Arctic explorer. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I mean, Transylvania is pretty cold. See, Kid Icarus, Green Mega Man, Zelda, yeah. or whatever the fuck her name is. 
Uh, this, I think the dog. Is just the <laughs> I, th dog. I think that's the dog who laughs at you during duck hunt. Yes. <laughs> Kid Icarus. The one that's always toying with you. I'm yeah. not. I'm not kidding. I think that's the duck hunt dog. Hold on. Okay. Here. When when are when are we gonna get uh Captain End Game Master DLC for Smash? Okay, let's remember this. He's got one black eye and a scarf around his neck. Let's see here. Duck hunt dog. Oh damn it, it's not him. But it should be. <laughs> I mean, Scott, hold on. Yeah. They're trying to say Mega Man is green and wears a domino mask. Jesus Who's to say this isn't the duck hunt dog? Jesus fucking Christ. Duck hunt dogs <laughs> it's fucking it's just gone downhill from him. God damn. Scott, yeah? please credit the artist. Yeah, you're right. That was uh, <laughs> made by Doochley McFaggins. Uh, there he is. Normal human size Link. Yes. <laughs> How old are you, boy? 12. Yeah. <laughs> Get him at 12. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Christ, look at that. Yeah, some eggplant. Uh, yes. King Hippo. Which... Oh, the eggplant is from is Kid Icarus's main villain. Oh. Uh, that's why I don't recognize him. And he looks like Patrick Starr for some reason with one eye. Oh, here's Where do you think Patrick Starr came from? The SpongeBob. Mm -hmm. That's right. Game Master, Captain M. There. I see. Mother Brain. There With it is. just slips. Right? There's Mother Brain. And there's fucking Mother Brain from the game. <laughs> yes. And apparently there's a body below that. And when you beat one. the game, it comes out of the ground and tries to destroy you. Oh, yes. I've one's played a, it. One, one's <laughs> Robocop 2 villain accuracy. One's video game accuracy. The, the chick from Robocop 2 died. She died, oh. she died of cancer. That... That the villain? Was, yeah, yeah. She was actually she was the same girl. If you watch a sharp dressed man, she's the uh, the main the main female protagonist in ZZ Top's sharp dressed man video. Oh, that's oh. sad. That is. Oh, oh the, she's on the cover, right? Uh, of the, the the album. Hold on here. Sharp dressed man. man. Gianna Co? Is that her? Yeah, that's her. Gianna... No, maybe not her. Hold on here. Sharp dress man... Uh, female. Oh, there we go. I, okay, hold on. Sharp dress man, Robocop. That'll get it. There it is. Are we all yeah. having fun about this Transformers podcast? Hey, I, I warned everybody. <laughs> God damn it, Internet. This is the shit. <laughs> this is the shit I got to wade through to find what I need. But yeah, there she is. Oh. Yep, yep. But she got her head crushed long ago by fucking Kane. The Robocop 2.0. Robocop 2, Kane. Oh, fuck. Masterpiece this, masterpiece that. Masterpiece crosscut. Yeah. Interesting. I'm I'm a little interested. Will he be the most heavily armed archaeologist in the master <laughs> line? I mean, I can't. <laughs> you know, here's the thing. You've got this cross cut. In the masterpiece line, he may be the most heavily armed archaeologist, but not in the main line. That also goes to cross cut. <laughs> <laughs> that fucking that fucking cross cut that we got in the main line was fucking armed to the teeth. Like, Indiana yeah, I, Jones didn't have that many weapons. I was pretty sure it was not possible to get gun combinations before siege technology. Yeah. And then Kroc looks like, like, hold my Energon Cube-style beer. Hold this Here gun while I show you more guns. <laughs> he looks He looks like he's getting ready for doing archaeology in Iraq. Yeah. Mm -hmm. gotta, <laughs> gotta find that Stargate QAnon told me about. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, at least North Korea. <laughs> yeah, Jesus Christ. Oh, <laughs> the reptilian overlords will be pissed off on this. <laughs> oh, no. I bet he rides into battle on that tiny little uh, Mosquito motorcycle. It's stored in the back of the other two versions of this guy. Absolutely. 
Does he come with really... a little little Vespa? I don't know if he does. I don't know if he. Does. I certainly hope so. But him riding the Vespa would be like Omega Supreme riding Red Car. <laughs> those are those were from the Diaclone one, right? Yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. It mm-hmm. was Skid's version, the or maybe it was the red version. I think uh, they both came with it. Well, I think that was named Screech, wasn't it? Or that's the what Vespa? It, the, or no, the no, Mas- no, the red version. I think it's become to be called Screech. Like Skids mm. and Screech. I'm not sure. I just really, really want to see Crosscut right in like it's a fucking clown car Vespa to battle. Do. We fucking I know the battle Vespa. <laughs> the battle Vespa as as he hunches over the tiny, tiny pedals and gas throttle, mm-hmm. <laughs> holding out one gun. Genesis Climber Battle Vespa. We we need more battle carts like a battle Vespa. That just no two ways about it. Imagine if you will, sitting on a battlefield, and early early morning you hear like like a million angry bees, and all of a sudden <laughs> like like three hundred heavily armed and trained soldiers riding on Vespa toward you. The psychological <laughs> impact alone. Uh, these men I <laughs> need. They do not I think need it the be... tanks. They have the battle vespas. I think yes. the, I think the impact would be far far greater if they were so tiny. Those battle vespas could fit in your uh, pockets. The one hundred and second fighting hornets. Somebody's gonna <laughs> whenever fight. you somebody's gonna for, fucking get that joke. For whenever you want to, you know, be part of an assault, but travel at very low speeds on the shoulder also, of the road. Also, you can't <laughs> go up grassy hills. Yeah. <laughs> no. Yes. You're, there's no way in hell you're going to be Age of Extinctioning off a of grassy knoll to club some poor soldier in the head. That's that's how the fuck they got JFK. Battle of Vespa. <laughs> yeah. The sniper is getting into position on the grassy knoll, but he has to walk the Vespa up the hill. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. Oh, one can only hope. Uh, I really, really do wish, because if that's true... I, I think I'm going to have to make a Masterpiece purchase for the first time in a long time. Hold on here. Let's see. Masterpiece skids. I'll, I'll tell you what, Thomas. You can probably make a little bit of money making making little scooters for the Masterpiece guys to run out. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah. I suppose so. Let's see here. I can think. I, how much you want to bet, though, Fun B is going to do that? Twin... Twin Maybe guns, not. like an exhaust port gun, but it's the Optimus Prime looking guy that has it, I guess. I, I'll tell you Reboost. What, reboost. I'll tell you, Funby doesn't do a lot of stuff for the, uh, for the, the MP uh, line. For the MP line. Mm. Let's see. I'm not seeing any space for a Vespa in there at all. Oh. Yeah. Maybe a luggage roof rack? I'm telling you what, I think... I think I may get to work on like a target master Vespa. Something like, <laughs> one more gun for skids because he theorized this bitch. A Damn. bandolier of tiny Vespas around <laughs> skids masterpiece style. <laughs> oh, fuck me. Now, a lot that? of masterpiece work going on here. We got possible images of a masterpiece cliff jumper prototype. And that fucking smile is haunting me. <laughs> Look, I know Autobots and Decepticons don't have teeth, but ugh, give him something. All right, just the green collar and that smile is making him think he's probably going to go after Batman. Yeah, really. Come on. This is this looks like a G1 take on the uh, zombie cliff jumper from Transformers Prime. No kidding. It is like, call me Glyph. Okay, I said Joker. That reminded me. Did anybody watch uh, the new Masters of the Universe? Oh, with Mark Hamill as Skeletor? Yeah. Yeah. You know what? I, I, I'm like looking on 4chan. It's getting a lot of heat. People don't like it. I thought it was fucking fine. But I haven't seen it yet. 4chan. You're right, but I mean... Are, didn't, they, didn't they kill He-Man? No. not uh, Spoilers. But, but yeah. yes, but no. I think spoilers should only last for 24 fucking hours. Like, if you can't find time in your day to sit down for two goddamn hours, you know, fuck it. Fuck it. Mm-hmm. Spoilers, 24 hours. And then fucking 
we need to talk about 48 i'll tell you, i'll even give you 48 hours because it's more than one episode i'll give you 48 hours my my week i'm not going to get into detail my week was hell my week mm-hmm. was absolute fucking hell it turned out great it turned out just fine today's today's the best day i've had since the last time you saw me here's the thing I found time to watch Masters of the Universe Revelations. And I didn't even really care. I will say this. I thought Kevin Smith did a fine job. I'm not a Masters of the Universe fan. But you know what? I like this. Scott, it's amazing. It's amazing because you may not like Masters of the Universe, you know, just casually. But you are the hugest Speclatron fan. I, uh, look, look, Kevin, Kevin Smith, call me, baby. I know you listen to the show. Uh, <laughs> Kevin, I've got a Speclatron script that'll knock your dick in the dust. Just saying. <laughs> okay, I'm just going to give house. you the opening. I'm going to give you the opening. Uh, it, we go to Leonardo, New Jersey, and it's, <laughs> it's, it's outside of a convenience store. And we find out that Speckless Skull wasn't even supposed to be at work today. <laughs> and, this and, the great. and the convenience store looks like Castle Dangle Hand. <laughs> you should take you could you should take the skull and blow him up and make him Speckla God. <laughs> I, I I do believe this is the story you were telling me about earlier, Scott, where Speckla J sells uh, the Speklas that are inside his own body for yeah. 30 bags a gram. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. And, 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 the, and the, I can't even get it out. Fucking, this cat never talks. His battle cat never talks. <laughs> oh. <coughs> what do you think huffing the, the sparkles in a Speclatron would do oh. to you? Would you make it high? Would it mellow you? I bet you would have just the most attractive looking sneezes in the entire world. <laughs> or, Somebody... or, as we said in the pre-show, gender reveal party. Yeah. yeah it's a... it's gonna be the doctor tonight. doctor tries to find out why you're having such respiratory distress. They put a put a scope into your lungs to look around. They're like, wow, you have really, really nice looking lungs. Oh, oh God, like, COVID's ain't... mutated again. <laughs> that ain't nothing, Doc. Give my legs a squeeze. And he does. And while he's looking at the x-ray, he sees all the glitter in your chest flutter around, and he claps and goes, ah! I don't get it. <laughs> I, I watched a video. I, one of my favorite YouTube guys, James Lee. Uh, I suggest you pause this show right now and go watch some of James Lee's videos, especially the one I'm going to talk about in three, two, one. James Lee put out this this very fucking twisted animation he goes my uncle terry he was fine he was happy and healthy and full of vigor and dropping truth bombs on anti-vax sites and then 18 and a half le- yeah, days later dead <laughs> he goes seems kind of funny to me seems a little suspicious maybe like he was done in by some foreign agent maybe some self-replicating microbacterial infection that lives within the cells. I don't know. I, if only there was some way we could stop it. Anyway, buy Dogecoin. Buy Dogecoin. Yeah. Actually, I did pretty well with Dogecoin. Hey. Hmm? I mean, enough that I could buy this masterpiece cliff jumper. Uh, no. Is it? Does it say BS on him? Either that or it B5. This Either is, that or B squiggle. This is bullshit. <laughs> I, I don't know why people aren't going masterpiece tap out. Yeah, you know, <laughs> I'm surprised we haven't got tap out in Generation Selects. I don't know. It's one of those. Which one was he again? He tap the, out the green green clip jumper. Mm-hmm. Oh right, okay. It's one of those weird bot con holdovers. I'm like, why don't you guys just do that already? Yeah, yeah. I would, I would do, I would do that, and I would do a glyph. I really would. I mean, selects would be really easy for that sort of market. I mean, I'm honestly a little surprised that they didn't put, like, like in the World's Collide set, uh, please target, build a store here in Johnstown, because I'm so sick of driving an hour to get to you. (laughs) 
but I'm, I'm honestly surprised they didn't give that Bumblebee either a toy accurate head or just turn him into Bumper or, or Yellow Cliff Jumper or something. I don't know. It's, it's weird to think about the, the, the reasons behind not doing it already. Mm-hmm. And once again, if our fountain of everlasting Transformer knowledge, Walter, were here, I'm pretty sure we could get some sort of definitive answer as to why. But yeah, it seems like it should just be easy enough to do a recolor. If you're looking to get a nice Christmas gift for Walter, uh, I would suggest getting him multicolored thread and pins uh, because <laughs> he's running low on those for his conspiracy boards. Right, right. And uh, please no more joke gifts of the movie Cloverfield. Walter has had enough rage-induced moments. Yeah. Uh, uh, speaking of rage-induced moments, I had one here today. Uh, I'm going to have to travel an hour to see Transformers the movie, the 35th anniversary thing. Like, uh, it's, it's what, uh, Fathom, Fathom, Fathom theaters events? or Fathom things. They're going to be Sunday, September 26th at noon. You can go see Transformers the movie in theaters, but nowhere around here. <laughs> they are hopefully going to have theater, theaters open around me by the time this rolls around. I mean, they're already open, but just very limited. Mm-hmm. It's kind of like putting in a reservation at a restaurant you better show up when your reservation's ready i uh i can tell you this right now uh we don't give a shit here in johnstown this is the city that trump came to this is no lie i'm not kidding trump came to this town went how many of you guys here had covid and the crowd goes yeah good news you're all immune it's like i'm sitting there like i had i've had covid twice and i'm coughing right now as i'm listening let you say this. <clears throat> yeah. Woo! Hey, good news. Transformers is going to be in theaters, though. Yeah. Go, <laughs> ca- go catch COVID. Um, no, fucking go get vaccinated, dude. Just, I mean, just take the microchip and live with it, you fuck nuts. Also, just blast yourself with EMP radiation. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> You know it's the mark of the beast. There's no reason to fight it. <laughs> Bleach doesn't kill electronics. EMP bursts do. Jesus Christ, man. How are the reptilians going to know who to harass and who to la- leave go if you don't yeah. get the vaccine? And if you're worried about them laying eggs in you, just shine a really bright light in there and look for them. I actually had a student go, I go, hey, do you have the vaccine? He goes, N- she. It was a she. He goes, no, me and my mom didn't get it because I want to have kids someday and my mom wants to have another kid. So we heard the vaccine makes you infertile. And I just sat there going like, God fucking damn, I wish. I wish <laughs> there was something that would stop you bastards from reproducing. Oh, there is not getting the vaccine. <laughs> could, you, could you start paying me two months ahead so that whenever you die, I can make a little bit more money? Off yeah, you. Can you pay me two months in advance so I can afford tickets to this Fathom event? Yeah. I'm not going to go. I fucking hate people. Yeah, that's true. But the only thing is, like, back on the subject of Transformers. I know. Shocker. We're tracking it. We're talking about that. (laughs) The problem with Fathom events is that they they get more pricey. Because I've done a few of these things in the past. They have been the only market that show things that cater to more, like, niche markets. So, in the past, when I have been going to movies they do things like the doctor who anniversary movie that is the uh, only fathom event i went to i did go the one to the doctor who anniversary the one showing the 10th and 11th doctor teaming up yes i know yes so they've also done anime releases for a bunch of shows that i really liked from years ago but the problem being because they're smaller markets that operate within theaters they're covering their costs for a lot of shit yeah, so they have yeah. to rent the theater that they're showing in they have to do the licensing and this and that. And it's not really like outrageous sums, but you pay like $25 for a ticket. Yeah. Yeah. Well, let's see here. Let's see what all. I mean, Fathom Events do a lot of like operas and stuff, don't they? They oh, do. What's this? How is everything, buddy? Oh, Sterling. Sterling texted me. Thank you, dear. Um, yeah. Fathom Events do like a lot of operas and things like that. Let's see, we have Bizet's Carmen. Uh, that's about, like, the used car salesman. Uh, mm-hmm. Beautiful stuff. Uh, this, the Sleeping Beauty. 
Uh, about used cars. Yeah. Pacini's Tosca about used uh, breast implants, apparently. The Great mm-hmm. Buppet Caper. About used money. And, uh, yeah. yeah. Uh, Reset, which is mm-hmm. about uh, redoing a new bank account. And yeah. Hirobako, the movie. Ah, the, that was about uh, anime waifus who get oh. uh, used cars. There, I need to find this. I need to find this. There was a wonderful story on 4chan about some guy that invited his, uh, his new girlfriend over to see his Transformers collection. <laughs> so, Thomas, you, are you alive? What the hell happened to you, boy? I'm here. Okay. I was just listening. The Ritalin kicked in. <laughs> yes. <laughs> <laughs> we're here cracking the best jokes of our lives and he's just like yeah that's yeah, funny that's quite <laughs> yes. not atrocy rc god damn it i can't find it oh here it is uh this is on the uh 4chan's transformers general threat first time inviting girlfriend over for sexy time sees my rc collection in the room felt change in her mood Try to make out on bed, but clearly she's cold and upset. Ask what the problem is. She points to the RC shelf and asks what kind of fetish I have. Explain RC and Transformers. Girlfriend, clearly jealous of RC. Girlfriend sees my RC Dakimakura, which if you don't know is like those pervert pillows. Screams at me and calls me a pervert. Chase after her to explain. Walks outside and screams and calls me a pervert. Next door neighbor witnesses everything. And he goes, well, shit, I really liked her. Is there any chance to fix this? And uh, <laughs> the advice that he got was maybe do they make an RC real doll? Hide your RC collection in a safe. Burn the Daki Makura. Uh, assuming that you're not lying, I can't help but be curious how the fuck you intended to smooth all that over. Uh, I don't blame her for running. And <laughs> yeah, and the last piece of advice, my girlfriend hates my anime stuff, too. Good luck. If she isn't infatuated with you, I don't think you can win, which is probably the best Aww. advice. Yeah, there's been a there's been a few instances where former podcast members on this very show have tried to explain who they are as a person on YouTube and why this hobby, you know, is their thing. And people and these people sometimes are just not receptive and they go, it's not cool, you know, just like being really cold about it and they have to say well you're not cool either get the fuck out of my house yeah yeah i've you know what i i've only had like one whenever i was going through my tinder fucking everything phase i only had one (laughs) one girl like see my collection and yeah she did not behave she behaved exactly like you think she would (laughs) well she wouldn't have done that seeing if she saw your subscriber numbers on youtube right they're pathetic. So like, oh, a thousand subscribers. Oh, Never mind. I was clearly wrong. I got four thousand over on Strange Pathways. By the way, <laughs> you need to be checking out the new podcast, the new old podcast, Strange Pathways. New episodes have up every Sunday or Monday ish. Uh, if uh, I'm going to put up a Patreon, if I get to a hundred dollars a month in Patreon, twenty percent of that, twenty uh, percent of everything we make on Patreon will go to. Uh, We'll go to charity. So that's our Scott, first stretch you, goal. Are you finally, years and years ago, when I when I heard you starting this podcast, are you finally going to get around to telling the story of the used car salesman? Absolutely. Absolutely. Yes. Next episode. Uh, the, <laughs> so one time there was this used car salesman, and he mm-hmm. found this orange vehicle. And he went, what is <gasps> this for? And everybody went, that's to transport the art. Holy fuck. I've never wanted an accessory so much in all my life. Oh, 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 faith in Bigora. Oh, faith in Bigora. Look at this. It can, it can toll around with the ark. God damn. Is this, like, is this like a really crappy Grandus? This is like Spider, Spider Grundus. <laughs> spider Grundus. Grundus. Spider Grundus. Spider Grundus. No, I don't want to think about a Spider's Grundle. Let's just call it Spider Grundus. I kind of like spider this. Grundus. Spider this Grundus. Is, this is just a thing to like tote your ark around. And it turns into like a little launch pad, and then you can connect it up. I. It's a stand. It's a stand, and I fucking like it. I'm a little surprised the first upgrade kit isn't like like fillers for the side. <clears throat> but 
I'll take this. Well, Funby Fun made some fillers for the side. This is a very intricate, well-designed, little thought-out piece of, you know, kit that can go very well with the arc. I'm just looking at the proportions of arc versus accessory add-on going, God, that's tiny. Yeah. And I, I'm really, really wishing Paul can upscale this quite significantly. <laughs> Do you see the sad face on the far right there in the arc? Oh, I, I do. He's looking down at himself. I'm so ronery. Ronery. He's like, my only friend, the transport vehicle left me. I'm still here. Sometimes I can still hear him. That's He's like a really sad yellow tree. I mean, I get it. Mm -hmm. I absolutely get it. Taking the Team Rocket way out by blasting off again. Yeah. He's going to destroy his one friend when he launches. Yeah. Do you think he? Do you think this can explode on contact? That'd absolutely. I hope so. <laughs> like a Dr. Egg. Fucking taking, it, taking your entire collection out with it. I, <laughs> I kind of like this. Now, they're also doing this other upgrade set, which is just a set of fucking eyes. You, you fucking, like take this and you put it inside the arc's head and his eyes glow and then this <laughs> little remote control thing it's just a little magnet that turns the switch on and off <clears throat> i don't give a fuck about this that i would have preferred light piping yeah, yeah. just I... because it's yeah it's it seems more apropos if you're doing g1 stuff to do light piping but a light kit doesn't seem too bad. Maybe if it did like raver colors. Yeah. Um, <laughs> like rainbows of light shot from his eyes. I, I'm sorry. I just, I don't give a crap about the eyes thing. I like the little transport dude. Uh-huh. He's cool. <laughs> I like I like his little uh, spider tendrils. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I do like him. Uh, he's like 35 bucks. That's not bad. That isn't it's, bad. Not not for a third party thing. Mm -mm, it looks it looks it looks kind of uh, diaclony, like it kind of like the the new reboot of diaclone. You know what? It looks I like can see it that. Sort of fits in. Mm -hmm. It kind of fits in. If I had like an extra five hundred dollars lying around, I'd I'd buy that new diaclone convoy. Yeah, that thing is nice looking, isn't yeah. it? Yeah, it is. Mm. Yeah, it is. He's Man. He'd like may be the perfect like alternate universe Optimus. I am yeah. I am kind of like wishing this transform because everything needs to transform. Yeah, well, it, I guess it kind of does, sort of. I mean, it unfurls. Yeah. Yeah. It, even if it became a pirate ship. Yar. Yar her. Yar T. If it had a head, you could just say it. You know, it has a bug mode or something. It could. We could put the lights meant for uh, the arc's eyes into this thing. Yeah, that works. Mm -hmm. oh, make wow. it in, make it into a cricket. Mm, there we go. A noisy cricket. Cricket got wielded by Will Smith. Yeah. I I'll tell you what. This this is nice. This is something I'm going to purchase. This is nice. This is something I'm not going to purchase. Uh, Karakuri Cyclonus. He looks he, like he's gonna hurt. He is Gundamed. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Very impressive. I, I mean, I'm not gonna get it. I think it's okay. Uh, I'm surprised people haven't started to complain about RC. Because I mean, that's we got, we got, that's pretty good. We got the complaints from wasn't this the same same model kit company that was doing the the yeah. ass for days Windblade and that got that got canceled. It did, it didn't get canceled. I thought it got it got changed. No, that figure got canceled. That figure got canceled, it and did. then we got a different one. Really, I, I <clears throat> I'm I'm making a point. <laughs> I'm making a point. <laughs> Oh, I, I see. I see. Technically, what you mean. got the figure, but we didn't get the figure. He just it wanted to use the word "canceled." Yeah. God damn. I see what you mean. Yeah, motherfuckers. Those motherfuckers. Uh, and this time, 
I guess they released when they, sh I guess releasing this, they probably already went through all that. Like, okay, we're not going to listen this time. We're just going to do it. Why don't you just get a fucking robo penis and tuck it between her legs at that point? Because hmm. you've already made her look like a 19 year old teenager. Mark. Boy, <laughs> right? You're just like, oh. Like, I cannot think. I cannot think of another franchise out there that really goes through the entire gamut of the female body. Yeah. You have, well, I mean, you have fucking Clobber. You have Stryka. You have RC. Windblade. Alita 1. Like, it fucking goes through the entire gamut of the female body. Stryka. It's not even that. It's I'm thinking before this whole thing about sexualization came up, it's like we had toys that did penis jokes, yeah. for God's sakes. And no one batted an eye at that. Fucking Erector, the <laughs> scattershot with his massive dong. And let's not forget, his name was fucking Scattershot. Mm -hmm. And let's not even forget uh, Perceptor's original tech spec. You remember what his quote was on the back of that? I don't. Fuck bitches, get money. No, show <laughs> me your math dick. I, I don't remember that. <laughs> How incredibly rude is that for the nerd to say that, right? And then people didn't even bat an eye because it was the 80s. But, you know, penis jokes were allowed back then. Oh. Shit piece, for God's Here, sakes. Here's the thing. Here's the thing. I'm so fucking tired of all this politically correct bullshit i am mm. fucking tired and fa well we can't have windblade because she's got a butt women don't have butts how do they poop i don't know <laughs> here's here's the deal i'm telling you, you this spank right but thank you xavier i'm telling you this right fucking now all this shit you're doing with like you know oh you can't say this you can't think that about a woman a toy can't look this way. You know what this shit is? It's fucking antibacterial soap. It's antibacterial soap. <clears throat> Back in the 80s, we fought everything off. We had some antibiotics, but then all of a sudden we we're like washing our hands with antibiotics. And now we have a cold that can fucking murder you. 3,000 <laughs> people every day and a half die of a super cold. The coronavirus. You know what? Why did this happen? Well, it, I mean, some Chinese dude ate a bat. I get that. That happened. But what led up to that was people used the antibiotics so much. They, they, they were throwing Z-packs in people left and right. That You had the antibacterial soap. People were fucking using the shit left and right. The shit got stronger. And our immune systems got weaker. And that's what this shit is. This so are you shit. sure this is? Are you sure you're having a better day, Scott? I'm having a better day. This is what this shit is. <laughs> Whenever you look at Windblade and go, her butt, no, no, that's not the way a woman's butt looks. Some women, yes. Some women, yes. And here's the thing: this shit, this way of talking is antibacterial soap. What happens is, people throw tiny little insults at you, and you don't build up an immunity to people going like, "Hey, nice ass, sweetheart." You know, a nice dick there, jiggle tits. I've heard that said to me. <laughs> you okay, can, so if, you're... If you don't build up a tolerance to the tiny stuff, you cannot fucking take it whenever somebody actually insults you. Well, here's the thing I'm going to do to make sure people fucking stop bitching. I'm going to write a piece of fan fiction where RC fucks the arc because there are car files out there who got on my strange addiction was like i'm in love with my car dad and the dad's like oh my god this is my fucking son so i'm gonna do a story rc fucks the upcoming arc rc has a baby and it's gonna be called arc c what do you think of that <laughs> i'm okay with that i'm totally okay with that <clears throat> because i'm a goddamn man Hey, I am a white middle-aged man, and the only time in fucking history it's a bad thing to be a white middle-aged man. Hey, Jiggle Tits, what's the next image? <clears throat> oh, Jiggle Tits, thank you. See? <laughs> My feelings aren't hurt. I don't give a shit, because Xavier's a Mexican. <laughs> <laughs> His words don't count. <laughs> uh, we're, we're not real people. <laughs> <laughs> well, learn, to love, <laughs> learn to love your own country or pick Mike Tomatoes. One of the two. And then we'll be done. <laughs> Jesus Christ, I'm sorry, Xavier. 
I feel <laughs> like I went a bit too far there. Oh my How dare God. you say you went a bit too far? No, Not far no. enough, I say. Oh, action toys, Ultimetal, <laughs> Rodimus Prime, and Galvatron. I'm not too much for non-transforming toys, but god damn. That is some super studio ox right there. Man, I'll tell you what, man, that's, that's how you wear a hat. <laughs> that's, fuck Jeez. me. Is he a Gundam? I think, I think he's a starfish in a mech suit. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Mecha, Patrick. It a kino mecha yeah jesus <laughs> christ i mean nice these look traps. good but the proportions are fucking ridiculous yeah they're kind of like model kit style proportion <laughs> oh it's it's this is like studio ox yeah my god like dialed up to 11 my fucking god is I megatron love... just Staring off to the other direction, there is that Mega Megatron. Megatron's fucking ashamed of what he's gonna become. <laughs> that was that was a lot of the UK run. <laughs> yeah. yeah, yeah. It was, wasn't it? It was, wasn't it? Yeah. He met alternate universe Megatron. He's like, no, no. Is is that an alternate <laughs> helmet for Rodimus, or is that a Mega Man style one up? I think that is an alternate helmet or a Mega Man style one up, but I'm fairly certain it's an alternate helmet. I think you put like these little shoulder pads on this wind vane and that alternate helmet, and he becomes just hot rod. Okay, do, so we're do doing see, the whole upgrade thing. I you see so. that uh, Galvatron's toy accurate space gun? I know. I like toy accurate space gun. Yeah, I always thought that was really cool. <laughs> I, I think. Uh, I know I made fun of IDW earlier, but I think IDW made some made some really really nice nice fiction, especially their lost light oh. stuff. Some of the best additions to the fiction, yeah, absolutely. absolutely. I loved what they did with uh, Galvatron, uh, like the the ancient Galvatron. His cannon, yeah. his original cannon was that gun just placed on his arm like a cannon. Rem he remember what he said to that one human that was beaking off to him. No. And instead of instead of ki instead of killing her, he just kind of grins and just kneels down and he just says, "I have axes older than your species." <laughs> Man, why is Galvatron's abs the Windows 86 edition, right? Dun, 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 dun. They, were were they that or were they the circles? I can't remember. They were like wavy squares. Yeah, 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 yeah. Wavy yeah. squares. Yeah. This is just. Man. I guess it's cool. Yeah. The, cra the crazy thing is, I actually think I know what these two figures are like. I, I actually remember the specific piece of art where I think these come from. This this style here. What uh, you talking about, do, Willis? Do you remember that large panel that had like it was like the the whole panel was basically just Metroplex his head or something and you see all the characters kind of all around scattered all around it i think that's where these come from are you talking about a cover to an idw comic no 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 uh it's like a japanese studio ox style uh piece of artwork i think from a manga here we go uh just to show this off this is warrior king galvatron from idw there's the cannon and there's the axe older than us wow yep <laughs> Oh, but but to add insult to injury, uh, still younger than your mom. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. He motherfucker, my mom's yeah. dead. <laughs> yeah. Oh, I I bummed myself out with that. Oh no, no, buddy, it's okay. It's okay. What's that, Thomas? I, oh, I just was just re remembering that that scene in the book, and I just thought it was really funny that that he's you know you can't hurt my feelings. Your species is. Not that important. Yeah, Holson did that to me once. <laughs> I have schools older than your country. Yeah, I oh. did. That was the original. That was that? the original <laughs> shirt. Somebody from IDW listens to the show and went, I'm fucking using that. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Replace school with uh, random word replacement. Mm -hmm. Max. There yeah. Go. <laughs> Holson is Galvatron. I mean, it makes perfect sense now that I stopped thinking about it. <laughs> fucking Galvatron wears glasses. Holson wears glasses. Perfect. Yeah. I or think. maybe 
<laughs> I've solved yeah. the mystery. <laughs> wait, no, wait, sorry. Galvatron's eyes are made of glasses. Yeah, yeah, that's that's what it is. I am not a fan of the Red Series. Let's let's make what? that perfectly clear. Clear. Uh, there's going to be this Walmart Collector Con. Uh, they do have a red primal. That's not what I give a shit about. What I give a, sh a shit about is the fact that I'm going to have to buy this red toy to place in front of my, uh, my Unicron. See, this is what I was talking about last week when I covered for you. This is very cool. I like the idea that red as a line is trying to do something different because they know that just static models of non-transforming characters... Or just basically like, eh, okay, action figures. I some could not agree more. This is what right? the, this is what the this whole line should be about. You don't take the character as a character. You take the character and explore a moment in the character's existence. Mm -hmm. That so this, is more interesting. Yes. Yeah. So this snapshot where they're like, here's a scan. You get to see it going through the process of being Megatron to Galvatron. That is something cool. Like, the whole scan series from uh, Dark of the Moon, I believe, when they were exploring that, and they did, like, six figures of the deluxe class movie line. Yeah, do that. scan, I think they were called. Those mm -hmm. things yeah. were very cool. It was partial paint over a clear shell. It looked yeah. great. And this is the same thing, and it's like, why no one tries to replicate this more is beyond me, because the idea that you get to see the inner workings is fascinating. It's like the biology you finally get to take a crack at. Yeah. That the, when the, like, when the movie did that, and he was like, oh, dude, this is what Bender looks like all the time. You know, yeah. it's just, like, so cool. Yeah. This is, this is exactly what it needs. I'm not a fan of the primal. Whatever. But this Megatron, uh, I'm, I'm thinking I may have to get this Megatron. I wonder if he's going to come with anything extra yeah. for the con. I saw last week they were going to throw in his regular accessories, but I'm wondering if they're going to do more. They're going to do an Energon cube, four hands, and the mace. Because I didn't know this was going to be their con thing. Yeah. Like You know how Prime, when he got his masterpiece run, they said if you order the uh prime from like i believe amazon you get the banana crate included as well like i, I just want to see something bonus wise thrown in yeah yeah um i'd be happy with just this the only thing that i think could make this better is if they would have added some parts on the inside like the inner workings of megatron that you can see from the outside through the clear plastic that, mm -hmm. I was just thinking that, yeah, like the all the mechanisms on the inside. Like, take it a take it a step further. Don't even do like inside literal pieces of new uh, mechanics. Yeah, but maybe do like some sort of forced perspective where it's like, hey, you're looking at this head on, but we did something unique with the paint apps where we tricked you into thinking you're looking on the inside. And you're seeing the, the gears and whatnot move beneath, kind of like the gear people from Rick and Morty. Yeah. Just uh, tell you what, that's not a bad idea. Just like, you know, like stickers over the top that look like the internal workings. Mm -hmm. Paint apps on top that look like the internal workings. That would have been fantastic. That would have been absolutely fantastic. I'm pretty happy with this, though. I think it's very cool. It's a unique take, and that's, like you said, and like I said, I think some new direction was needed for this line, and I'm glad they're trying something like this. And just as a side note, uh, the Primal, I think, isn't bad at all. I just think they should have done more accessories to capture those, like, small magic moments he had in the series because I wanted to see, like, wraparound shades <laughs> when Primal said, hasta la vista, the star scream. Something like that is just like, oh, why does Optimus Primal come with a pair of, you know, little wraparound sunglasses? Yeah, yeah. This is, yeah, Primal's not bad. Megatron, mm, beautiful, mm -hmm. beautiful. That's exactly what it should be. <clears throat> it's. Oh, God. Yeah, what? Look at his crotch. Oh, my God, it's Scrat from Ice Age. <laughs> <laughs> maybe I looked it's up fucking his... fucking everywhere, man. It's like the Illuminati symbol. Maybe, maybe I kind of looked him up on the, my other screen. <laughs> what kind of animal was he supposed to be? Was he like a lemur know, or a squirrel? Fucktard. 
Ancient, ancient I, I, squirrel saber tooth. It was it was yeah. John Leguizamo or something like that. Ancient saber tooth John Leguizamo. Yeah. Um, the weird thing the weird thing about this red primal though is like primal's transformation as a baseline is already fairly simple because it's a humanoid robot that turns into a humanoid animal bend down um, the place head. <laughs> yeah so why didn't they just make this transform because the whole transformation red. was done on, yeah the whole transformation that was done on screen was incredibly simplistic and i was like i can't believe it was that simple they literally had them twist the waist around 180 and pop out the shoulder pads because you know transformers are based on humans mm-hmm. so what is a human other than a souped up monk <laughs> well that's just that, that's just i always thought it was really funny that he turned into a gorilla it's like it's one anthropoid that turns into another anthropoid so yeah. what his legs just get slightly taller that's yeah. it that's it that's all that happens right he's like uh, that <laughs> a chimp oliver that 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 chimp that used to walk upright and, and made a lot of people think did some chick fuck a monkey? Is that what we're looking at? Like, it's it's to, it's to the point where in Beast Wars, Primal didn't even have robot hands. He just had, you know, you know, anthropoid hands in robot mode. Yeah, <laughs> yeah and uh, kind of creepy. Yeah, this this was uh, Oliver, the chimpanzee that walked upright, and a lot of people looked at it and went, "Yeah, I think I think some some chick fucked a monkey." <laughs> I mean, that kind of looks kind of human, you know. That's, that's oh, is little... this what Optimus Primal's based on? See, that, this is this is fucking Oliver. That's the way that chimp walked. Wow. Oh, he did the JoJo strut before it was a meme. Mm-hmm. Oh, he is totally doing it. Yeah. Yeah. Fucking hell. So, I s- moving on to, uh, looky what I found, Tomas. Tomas, my good friend, do you have a look at what I found? Yeah, you were, when you were talking about, when you were showing that Megatron scanning uh, gimmick that they're showing in the red line, yes. it made me think It made me think of this, let's see, you probably have seen this before, uh, but I just remembered it. Oh yes, this custom. Yeah. Mm. Just that's that is really impressive to me. Uh, let's see if I can find any more pictures I of think it. There that is. was made by that guy that ripped Xavier off. Really? Oh, oh, uh, 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 Frenzy Rumble. Frenzy Rumble. It might be him, but that's an incredibly fancy piece of paintwork. I'm really impressed by that. Yeah, yeah, that looks good. That looks good. Yeah, I would like to see something like that in the official toy. Wasn't the trans scanner sort of like this? It was. Yeah. I mean, I would have loved to have seen something more with Mirage transitioning from uh, solid state to invisible, but they only went with one or the other. Like, he never was, like, disappearing halfway. He was always either completely clear plastic or just robot. You know, that was, I think you reminded me of the first time I looked at a piece of fiction in my life and went, wait a minute, that's a little bit of bullshit, isn't it? Transformers versus G.I. Joe number one from Marvel Comics. Because oh. Opt- Optimus Prime sends Bumblebee to to go in and infiltrate G.I. Joe, right? Uh-huh. And Optimus yeah. Prime goes, I'm sending you because only you have the ability to remain unseen. And I'm sitting there thinking, wait, Mirage can turn fucking invisible. <laughs> you know, it's... <laughs> Aren't, aren't they, like, the entire premise of their species' special ability to be unseen? Yeah, like, yeah but uh, I mean, he before. remains... Like, Mirage turned invisible, but he's sending Bumblebee because yeah, only, not, only he has the ability to remain unseen. No, It's not like out of the entire Autobot roster, one of them drove a Volkswagen, right? It's yeah. like, okay, it's like, Scarlet drives a Volkswagen, send in Bumblebee. No, it's like, uh, send in the 20-foot-tall robot. Bumblebee right immediately yellow. gets killed. <laughs> Did you immediately have you, dies? Have you seen this one? Oh, yes, Megatron from the Last Night Mold. Okay. Yes, I have. I I haven't seen pictures of this in its dinosaur mode, but I'm interested. Is there a dinosaur mode for this? Well, this is the Age of Ex- Oh wait, no, it's not. Sorry, I, for yeah. a moment there, I thought this was the uh, the Grimlock mold, but it's not. This is the Megatron. Yeah. Mode. Yeah. 
Yeah. Yeah. Be interesting. Well, I don't know why. I'm... Cobble one. I know. It would so... be neat. Wow. But Damn, yeah, for that's just that's the thing about these these movies designs. Like I I didn't immediately recognize this as being the Megatron mold. I thought, hmm, this I guess this must be a dinosaur mold. It's <laughs> one of I those things not. where like the toy line continued to do successfully because the the people behind it. I'm pretty sure were so ashamed of what Michael Bay was doing. Like I'm putting my heart and soul in this to show I care about this company and the, these characters. Oh my god. I here's my look at what I found. I, Thomas, I think you're gonna love this. This oh. is this is from. Let's see here. This is from JT Custom Heads Three on Cults 3D. And to download this, it is completely free. I'm a poet <laughs> and don't know it. This is the Titans Return Sweet Face for Titans Return Scourge, but he made it to look like the Takara one. Oh, uh, cool. Download it for free. Print it out. You've got new sweeps, baby. Neat. Yeah. I wonder how, how much are the Titans Returns uh, Scourge going for now? I don't think they're going for very much. Uh, let's do an eBay yeah. search here. Uh, Titans. I, I, I love how that mustache is like, it's less tracker and more, I'm a, I'm a bake a pizza. <laughs> Let's see. Titans Returns Scourge. It's a me, Sweepio. Lois. Yes. There we go. Instructions only. Here we go. 15 bucks. Hey. Oh, not bad. What he originally went for. I actually, with that with that face, I actually kind of want to see a two custom Scourges. One in Mario colors and one in Luigi colors. Yeah. <laughs> Like, what's their yeah. name, the third-party company that did Huffer and Pipes? Yes, but I want to see them as Scourge. High gear, I think. Yeah, that but is... that's what that this mustache reminds me of. Absolutely. I love this. I'm I'm going to buy a new Scourge, print this sucker out. Jesus, and, what uh, kind of mustache is that? It's going over the cheeks to the ears. That's called an Ambus. <laughs> oh, yes. Yeah. Is that physically possible on a human? Uh, We'll find out. I'm gonna oh go, yes, I'm gonna go fucking nuts with it. I guess I could just like just shave everything from here. Yeah, that would work. <laughs> there it is, Xavier, buddy. Do you have a look at what I found? No, uh, I'm good this week, oh. unfortunately. Well, while we got you up here, any reinforcements? Yes, I do. You'll be happy to know, Scott. One of them is the Siege Walgreens exclusive ratchet. Nice. He, just, he was today. Today. I went out and did a little bit of errand running. Mm -hmm. I was like, I'm going to pop into my local Walgreens because there's there's this thing I have. I have a fascination with playing cards right now. I am going through this different collecting phase of I like to collect playing cards. I've been going on and off for, with this for a couple of years. Thought I checked the Walgreens. Nothing. But there was a siege ratchet. I was like, this is the thing that was supposed to be stopped being sold a year ago. Oh well, it's mine now. Yeah. And I know this will make you happy, Scott. Two Origin Bumblebee. Nice. Good on you, buddy. Mm -hmm. if, if you see a third, grab it for me. Oh, the second one's for you, because I kind of figured this shit's going to be hard to get. How much did you pay for it, if you don't mind me asking? Uh, it's unfortunately the new price point. $28.99? No, 22 22 okay uh yeah you know what we'll ship stuff to each other because yeah. saturday your t-rex is coming to me okay yeah. okay I'll, so i'll tell you what we'll do i'll tell you what we'll do we'll just uh -huh. call it even you ship it okay. to me i'll ship it to you boom we're even we're even so here's a here's a fun little easter egg maybe maybe two just depending mm -hmm. the the energon rods he comes with right right they have a slight Speclatron look to them. Hell yeah! Speclatrons are my boys! And the other part was, when I looked at the instructions, I was like trying to jam the Energon rods into Bumblebee's hands. They don't uh -huh. fit, unfortunately. They didn't mold them to fit his hands. And I was like, what's the fucking point then? Right. Like, isn't, aren't they designed specifically for this toy? So after I figured out how to crack the transformation without looking at the instructions, I opened the instructions. And to my surprise... The way they drew 
Bumblebee to hold the Energon rods is directly lifted from the G1 episode. <laughs> Damn. Yeah. Damn. Deep cut. They took the way Bumblebee held the rods from the original pilot episode and used it as a as a picture in their instructions. Damn it. Damn it. <laughs> Damn it. Uh-huh. I Fuck. thought that was a nice touch. Fuck me. Fuck me. Let's see here. I'm actually just paying my target red card off. Okay. Hey, Thomas. Hmm. You have any moments yep. where you just say, fuck me? Yes. From time to time. <laughs> yes! <laughs> so it's not just the Johnstown thing. You you also say, fuck me sometimes? Oh, oh yeah. Johnstown's been going to hell. After after we hear uh, Thomas's reinforcements, we'll talk about Johnstown. <laughs> okay. Did you Tell get you. anything this week? Oh yes, I got my. Uh, I received my fans' toys Apache. Ooh, the very good. It's a great figure. You know all the usual praise that you know um, fans' toys is, gets, but I don't actually think it's necessarily the best Springer. It's a good Springer, but mm. I actually think that I kind of like unique toys ones more. The uh, the Allen. With the slightly lighter green, mm -hmm. well, it's a lot. It's a lot lighter green, but I just like the proportions more. Right on. Uh, yeah, it's a great figure. I still like it, but you know, if you had one, I don't think you necessarily need the other. Yeah. yeah. And um, yeah, and you know what? It's it's the... not like Earthrise Springer and I and, and Thrilling Thirty Springer, because exactly. if you've got one, you can kind of feel the urge to get the other. Mm -hmm. Yes. The, those are distinct enough. Actually, if I'm honest, um, if you were in the market for a third-party Springer, I would just get Big Spring from Open and Play because it's less than $100. Yeah. And it's the same size, and I would say it's just as good, really? I mean, there are things about it that are not... at Like, I mean, this one has individually articulated fingers and all that stuff, and it's uh -huh. got a really complex transformation, but some people don't like that. Mm. Those people you know? are chumps. Yeah, the big spring, I hear good things about it. It's inexpensive and, you know, uh, or at least it was when it was out. Certain big things. spring sounds big spring sounds like a place you would visit in Canada before it became engulfed in flame. Certain, yeah. certain I, things, certain things kind of I look at and go, ah, I this doesn't need to be complicated. Like whenever exactly whenever, whenever I looked at like the aerial bots from Combiner Wars any of the combiner wars i felt like that was great because you could sit down and in in three minutes two minutes you could have it like from plane to robot another two minutes get it to robot to arm mode it didn't have to be complicated it being uncomplicated is what made it possible for these to be combiner wars do, On, do you remember oh uh, sorry go ahead do you remember open and plays big cannon I don't. I don't. Okay. Um, there are a couple of third-party Galvatrons. There's Sovereign, which is the fans' toys one, and then Tyrant, uh, which was DX9s. They were both very complex, very intricate. Uh, lots of... It's fiddly, very fiddly in some ways to transform them. And then Open and Play made one that's about the same size, I think. Okay. Um, but what they did was they took Titans Returns Galvatron, the mold... And then they stripped out the jet mode from it, the spaceship, and then stripped out the headmaster gimmick, and then just made it more G1-y. Okay. And then they were like, there, Masterpiece Galvatron. Hmm. It's, yeah. 70 bucks. Yeah. <laughs> but what else did you get this week? Uh, I also got... It's, um, Earth, sorry, yeah, what's it called? Uh, yeah, Kingdom, Kingdom Red Alert. Ooh. You found him. I, nice. Yeah, I did. I, I did. It was, I have another one, but now he has red arms. That's it. <laughs> <laughs> Yay. Different. Yeah. Red arm. I think I, in fairness, I like the, this version, he comes with the shoulder, the shoulder cannon. And the, I think the other one, the, the, I think the siege one doesn't. 
<laughs> but you know they're exactly the same. You don't necessarily need both. I printed out a whole bunch of shit. I can't remember what I printed and what I didn't. <laughs> yeah, you don't. You don't. You don't. I feel like you don't strictly need both of them. Yeah. If you don't want. Them. Yeah. No. I don't know. I've been kind of looking at some of my collection, going like, okay, I don't need, I don't need this many side swipes, so I'm like kind of storing some away, because we're planning like every every day we get a little bit closer to moving to California. So. Oh, that's gonna be interesting. Oh, it's gonna be great. It's whereabouts? Uh, we're looking at a little town called Oroville. Uh, there's a cabin up in the woods for sale for uh, about three hundred and seventy thousand. That's so. the town what's called after the spaceship. Not Orville. Or Oville. Oh. Orville. Okay. Oh, Thomas, you stupid yeah, you fuck. They're two different things. Jesus Christ. For for those that are that are into creepy weird stuff, the American Dyatlov Pass happened in Oroville. I don't I don't know what that is. You don't know what the Dyatlov Pass is? That's no. the thing where the uh the hikers went insane and disappeared. Yeah. And they found their bodies and, like, they were missing their tongues and their eyeballs. And, what? And, like, their their bones were broken and they were slightly radioactive. Look, and... I'll give back the tongues and bones when I get an apology. You know what? What's what's, what's this? Fun, what was this called? What? This is called the Dyatlov Pass. This, was, this happened in Russia. But then a very similar thing happened here in the United States. Uh, it's, the, it's called the Boys from Yuba City. Uh, these these guys uh, went from Yuba City to go see a uh, see a basketball game in Oroville, and they end up in the Oroville Mountains, and a bunch of them disappear, and they end up finding finding the bones of a few of them. One guy had made it into like a trailer, and there was plenty of food around, but he just fucking starved to death. Mm -hmm. What's and what was this phenomenon called in in this area? Look, look for like the Yuba City Five, the boys from Yuba City. Yeah, there's actually a uh, a video game Markiplier. I'll be right. Based on that. I'll be right back. Thomas is gonna go solve this. Give me five minutes. I'll get oh. this all figured out. Yes, I'll be right back. <laughs> Jesus. Jesus Christ! Mentioned murder and radioactivity in one sentence, and I got a hobby all of a sudden. Yeah, Jesus. Okay, I got it figured out. Yeah, I guarantee yeah. that's what he's going to say whenever he comes back. Oh, boy, back. anthropology. <laughs> yeah. It was Sasquatch, obviously. Everyone I, knows he's from Mars and radioactive. Yeah, absolutely. I guess I'll do my reinforcements now. <laughs> sure. <laughs> so, Mantis 99s, I hope you still watch. I watched your review. I had to get it. The 7-in-1 Space Fleet robot. It's, it's just cute. And I thought, well, I have to get that. So, thanks, Mantis. You sold mm -hmm. me on it. Uh, also, a huge thank you going out to Chase, who actually bought and shipped the uh, the Kong versus Godzilla war bat to me. And the other day, uh, they started seeing transmutate at my at Game Stops here in Pennsylvania. So I ran up to the Game Stop. And GameStop, first off, good on you for, uh, for stocking Generation Selects in your store. They had this in deep cover. The fuck, right? Uh, so I ended yeah. up getting my transmutate. <laughs> uh, secondly, could you tell your employees leave me the fuck alone? All I wanted to do was go in, buy the fucking toy, and fucking leave. But what I got instead was this, this girl who thought she was cute. I could see how some people might have assumed that she was cute. But she was just annoying to me. In that weird Goldie Hawn 1960s big eyed but with purple hair kind of way. Where I got up there and I said, I'd like to purchase this Generation Selects Transmutate. Do you want to join our GameStop club? No, I don't. It'll take $5 per month off of purchase. I don't want it. You could use it today. It's $60. Don't want it. You know, would oh. you like to trade in your phone for your store for, for purchases? You don't want my phone. <laughs> you do not want Scott. my phone. And I pulled my phone out and said, do you really want this phone? You can't have it. It's mine. 
with the commander suck background. There it is. Hold on here. We'll put it right up there. The su the suck lord. Right there. I wish <laughs> I wish my camera was just a little bit more in focus. But yeah, suck lord. The uh, suck lord seventy uh, six. Suck lord sixty seven. Background. <sighs> and it was I, just like I want. She goes, good news, it's on sale, nineteen ninety nine. Just let me have the go I'll pay full price if I can walk the fuck out the door. Scott, that I think I think ahead. this problem was her body language is saying, Help, we're being robbed. I need you to communicate with me and you're like, I just want the I fucking just, toy. Look, if they were being robbed, not my problem. <laughs> so, <laughs> you know the whole train thing. I can flip a switch and one person will be hit by the train. Or I can leave it alone and three people will be hit by the train. I go, is there a way I can time it that all four of them get <laughs> if you If you kind of pull the lever so that it doesn't go one way or the other, just kind of stuck halfway, you'll kill the conductor. Front wheels on one track, rear <laughs> wheels on the second track. Tokyo drifting down. Um, <laughs> however, <laughs> let's talk about transmutate here for a second. Wonderful figure. I think this is a great use of the Paleotrex mold. It's yeah. uh, it, it's great. It's it really feels retarded in my hands. <laughs> like, <laughs> you can you can tell this person's gotten all their vaccines because the spectrum is there. And I love the fact that she has uh, autistic screeching action. <laughs> that is fucking nightmarish. <laughs> yes. Oh god. I, I love this, the little bionicle thing too. Uh if Did you also did you notice that the head, if you look at it from the side, that oh that yes. The she was if just you look at the, down on it, I have an interest <laughs> out. Did you notice like the back of the head's got sort of this weird xenomorph <laughs> looking head? It's yeah. kind of sweeps back a bit. Oh yeah. Yeah. Oh yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. There it is. But yeah, good good on you, Hasbro. This was this was like a transmutate I didn't really realize I wanted, but I'm so glad that I have. Yeah, the, the this one does the head come out again? Oh, oh sorry. Yep. Yes, it does. Yeah. The collector's club one was too like I mean, I get how it was an Easter egg being based on RC who was Rand. season blue who did <laughs> That's some voodoo shit right there. <laughs> Could you? I, I just had a. I just had a thought. Could you put this in the original Beast Wars um, Rampage's hand? Mm. I've got Rampage. I'll check tonight. Well, maybe tomorrow. Maybe, <laughs> did maybe Friday. He, he, I probably won't get to it. He Sunday. did hold. He did hold he did hold transmutates like destroyed head in his hands like Horatio from yeah, yes year, didn't he? Yeah. yeah that is what I'm remembering Jesus Christ I I wish I would have had a child so I could traumatize it by making it watch that episode keep watching <laughs> keep watching you won't be like, a man Adam. until you finish this <laughs> Dad I'm a six year old girl <laughs> I said keep watching you son of a bitch. I'm also in the middle of making this. I've got all the parts, but some, I'm not happy with some of them, so I'm going to reprint it out. This is a little Nebulon Target Master that I'm printing out from Autobot Double Zero. Um, mm. And I'm also printing out the Hightail Cranix. It's starting to come along pretty nice. Ooh. Yeah. That does look good. Doesn't that? And the fact that he got oh, to transform like the Marvel comic? Shit. Yeah. The way they transform in the comic, like, ugh, just it looks like they just took the robot and just kind of, yeah, just he, sort of warped. <laughs> he definitely cheated just a little bit, and I don't blame him. There's, there's the front of the spaceship. Yep. Yeah. He has a beak now. Oh my god, it's Duck Cranix. Yeah, I was just thinking if if, if there was if there was a crossover with Transformers and Ducktales. That's what it would look like. I need to print out a second version of the a second uh, one of these heads and paint it up duck collar down. That's that's my goal. Paint, oh. 
Fuck. Do we have any listener questions this week? Don't think we do. Hum, 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 hum. Fair enough. Fair enough. Oh, my God. What are you guys up to this week? Trying to find a good Japanese porn. Uh, I would go over to X video and just type in the word J-A-B. And you're going to find yeah, just a yeah. ton of shit. Absolutely. X video's played out. I'm more of a spank bang type of guy. Hey, you know, spank bang's pretty good. Uh, fat flicks, though. Fat flicks. I, I found a lot of nice stuff on there. Uh, I think fat clicks is trying to be too much like X hamster nowadays. No, not fat clicks. You misheard me. Fat flicks. <laughs> Trust me. Trust no, me. they're trying to be too much like Pornhub. This yeah. is like, yeah, you yeah, know, yeah, all the other. You are kind of right. It all depends on the content, really. I mean, I mean every. Score yeah, every... really gone downhill ever since they don't don't allow like giant implants anymore. I mean, the authentication system is just bullshit nowadays. And ever since like Pornhub took the initiative and said, "Look, we're gonna do two step authentication now to make sure everyone's of age," I was like, "Good on you." Uh, however. It's also destroyed 90% of the legitimate content. And I'm just like, you know what? Half of this shit that is like overseas is perfectly fine. And then the rating systems, because let's not forget, IMDb also cribs their notes on how to do ratings from these sort of sites. I mean, I, and, I, I have my, my certain, my certain go to porns like Fantasia and Kayla Cleavage, uh, Brianna mm -hmm. Bragg. Uh, there's a new girl out there, Brooklyn Spring Valley, but she needs to get her tits worked on because. Uh, mm -hmm. She needs whoever worked on her tits needs to be slapped. Mm. Yes. And now I'm more. I'm more. In yeah. Oh, go go right ahead. Go right ahead. Oh, I was gonna say these these sort of stories uh, about the the OnlyFans girls who were churchgoers and then all of a sudden decided, you know what? There's fifty thousand dollars to be made in in an OnlyFans account. There, there's like interesting story. Interesting story. There's a chick on Instagram. She doesn't do nude stuff. But her name's Zanoz, X-A-N-O-Z. She got a mm -hmm. set on her that just, Jesus Christ. And she's not, a, she's not like a young 19, 20-year-old girl either. She looks mid, late 20s, early 30s. She, she's looking fine. She's looking yeah, fine. Yeah. She doesn't have to show nip. Uh, and she plays video games. Uh, her dancing's a little awkward, but hey, whatever. My dancing's awkward, I, too. I'm just, I'm I mean, I'm kind of. The jiggle. I'm kind of I'm kind of discovering myself through this, and I was like, you know what? I prefer substance. And ever since the Australian wildfires, and that one Instagram model who said, "I will post nudes as for donations to help save the Australian forest," I was like, oh, I get it. Yeah, tits for dollars for good koalas. Porn helps. That's mm -hmm. it porn helps. Mm -hmm. Porn helps. Did you know during COVID, uh, Spank Bang, Pornhub, X Hamster live video got 99% increase in their viewership. I'm not surprised. I know. And it was all for charity, not just for self gratification. You know, Thomas, how much did you contribute? No, I, <laughs> I wasn't following. Oh, I did. I did. <laughs> You're welcome. Ethiopia. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I, I'd like, to, I'd love to see the scientists. You know, there is an unsung hero who uh, helped in a, in, a, in a roundabout way uh, give us a lot of the money for research into the COVID vaccine. A lot of you people owe your life to Scott Mort of Johnstown, Pennsylvania. I just turned around and go, what? <laughs> <laughs> it's through his understanding that caring is sharing and the one million clicks... <laughs> I just watched. Let's not. I just watched the video fifty-seven that times a day. That's today. all. <laughs> I just found this laying around. This is a te this was a test print I did. Let's take a look here. Oh, that nice. Yeah, that it's nice. not. It's, uh, it's Thomas, like a, it's like why a, is that like not a, shaped like a butt? Hmm? Why is that not shaped like Seriously. a butt? I don't know. But it's uh, it was an old it was an old test print I did out of uh, transparent blue PLA. It should have been purple. Can but, you uh, make it shaped like a butt? Deceptive yes, butt. with enough with enough blender skills, you can do anything. Yeah, nice. Scott, good news. I know how to upgrade Kudakata Kuri RC now. I'll tell you what, man. I'm gonna have to start learning Blender. There's there's a few things I wanna I wanna do. Oh fuck Dude. me. 
I think this is time to end this because it's getting – we're going to a dark place. <laughs> Do us a favor. Check out our Twitter. Check out our Facebook, Good Morning Cybertron. And while you are at it, head on over to the Junk Transformers Buy, Sell, and Trade. Uh, we've, we've saved so many toys. I'm so proud of us. We've saved so many toys. And it makes me so damn happy. On top of that, you know what? If you like what we do here, send us some money on Patreon. If you don't like what we do here, send us some money on Patreon. Um, <laughs> it's a thing. If you belong to the Patreon, it's literally, literally as low as a dollar a month. You get access to our pre-show where if you like us, it'll be a whole different side of Good Morning Cybertron that you don't normally see. Us just kind of relaxing and before uh, before the show records. If you hate us, then you get to see a whole bunch of more stuff that you get to be self-righteous about, you prick. <laughs> Gentlemen, thank you for being here. Say good night. Good night. And may the force be with you, as they say, because we're, we're a Star Wars podcast. May the force be with you and don't let it hit you with the good Lord split you. Bazinga. Mm-hmm.